Well, it was a kind of double debate because the first two speakers, they were talking about CAR-T, yes or no, in front of autologous transplant in patients with multiple myeloma. And I participated in the second debate that was related to relapse refractory diffuse large V-cell lymphoma. And basically I was defending the yes position, uh, indicating that probably in the next five years, uh, CAR T cells were going or are going to take over autologous stem cell transplantation in a subgroup of patients with high risk relapse refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma. So basically, in summary, these patients have quite a poor outcome with the use of the standard of care, and the standard of care is salvage chemotherapy and consolidation with autologous stem cell transplant in those patients that achieve a complete remission or a partial remission. The, the long-term outcome of these patients with autotransplant is quite, is quite poor, with a progression-free survival which is around 20 or 25 percent being a little bit optimistic. And now we have three prospective clinical trials, two of them that have given positive results in terms of CAR T uh, giving a better event-free survival, which was the primary endpoint in front of the standard of care in patients with primary refractory and early relapse, basically patient relapsing in the first one year after the end of first line um, uh, conventional chemo immunotherapy treatment. So on the basis of these positive results that were seen in SUMA7, which compares AxiCell with autotransplant and the transform trial that compares Lysocell with autologous transplantation. Most probably in the next few years, the numbers of autologous stem cell transplantation are going to decrease in the same way that CAR T cells are going to increase in this population of patients.